Neil deGrasse Tyson is much more than just everyone's favorite astrophysicist. He's also the king of Twitter burns, unafraid of calling out B. S when he sees it. Take, for example, this tweet DeGrasse Tyson shared on Monday. It wasn't just a killer workout photo and an announcement about Cosmos's return, it was also a jab at President Donald Trump's hotly contested medical exam. You know that the one that gave rise to the number Gertha conspiracy. Quote, getting into shape for Cosmos, DeGrasse Tyson wrote. By my measure, 6 2 and 260 pounds this morning, leaving me to wonder what height and weight the White House physician would assign me. Dot, there's a lot going on in this tweet, so let's break things down one at a time. Dot, first of all, the fact that our guy is hitting the weights is seriously inspiring. If the world's most renowned astrophysicist, and also a pretty solid air hockey player, can make it into the gym, well, no one has an excuse. Second, the imminent return of Cosmos, the space documentary series DeGrasse Tyson brought back to life in 2014 with Cosmos, a space-time odyssey, should excite everyone. It was announced earlier this month that another installment, Cosmos, Possible Worlds was in the works, set to be released in 2019. Why is this exciting, you ask? DeGrasse Tyson has a way of getting people excited about the stars and making even the most complex scientific theories easy to digest. This latest series will explore the idea of life outside of Earth. What's not cool about that? Want to know DeGrasse Tyson's secret to success? He told us. Right parenthesis dot a n d. Finally, there's DeGrasse Tyson's mic drop of a number Gertha burn. Refresher? The number Gertha movement was born last week after Trump's reported height and weight, 6'3 and 239 pounds, were, well, a little hard for some people to believe. Could DeGrasse Tyson really be 21 pounds heavier and an inch shorter than Trump? It's certainly possible, given how people with vastly different body compositions can end up weighing the same, but the astrophysicist is just throwing it out there. To be honest, we're slightly disappointed that DeGrasse Tyson didn't speculate as to what moon of Saturn the president was weighed on to give a reading of £239.